After my initial testing of the drip tax, a decrease in frame rate tied to some of our favorite legendary hunters, I still had a big question. If playing as certain legendary hunters will drop your frames into the muck, what will happen if you're simply looking at other players with those same skins? Let me first answer your big question. Yes, I have uncapped my frames. Everything else is the same as the previous video. 1080p, full screen, graphics on low. And since I have uncapped my frame rate and moved the location of my testing, I started from ground zero with my tier one hunter baseline. As a tier one hunter at this location in the shooting range, I'm getting around 240 FPS. Another tier one in my field of view lowers my frame rate by about 10 at five meters. And looking at two tier one hunters lowers my frame rate by a total of around 15. I don't like bearing leads, only bodies. So allow me to introduce our worst offender, Gar, the FPS killer. Off the rip, playing as Gar brings my frame rate from the baseline of 240 down to around 190, showing a drop of roughly 50 frames. Bringing another Gar to the party drops it an additional 15 frames, and three Gars brings my frame rate down about 10 for a total of around 80 goddamn frames. The question is no longer can it run Crisis, it's can it run Hunt Showdown with 12 Gars in one place? I honestly think my PC would explode. I tested this as a tier 1 as well, where looking at a Gar also makes me lose about 50 frames, and looking at 2 loses me around 65. I repeated this process with the rest of the event hunters and several others from the roster, confirming that looking at a particular legendary hunter has a similar drop in frames to just playing as them. And while Cardinal Rain, Helmsman, and Fengshir didn't have as drastic of an effect as Gar in either situation, they still reduced my frame rate by around 25, 20, and 15 respectively. My overall conclusion from this particular part of the testing is that the first instance of any legendary hunter will cause the largest drop in frame rate, regardless of if you are playing as that hunter or just looking at them. And each additional instance of that hunter in your field of view will often have a diminishing impact, sometimes to the point where the loss in frames would be equivalent to a tier 1. I don't think the newer hunters have the largest impact on frame rate just because they're new. I think it's likely because the newer hunters tend to be more intricate in their design, making it more of a correlation thing. Some proof of this was my testing of the new DLC hunter Moorhound along with the other hunters I received requests to test, Bone Doctor, Lonely Howl, and Turncoat. Bone Doctor and Lonely Howl both cost me about 20 frames, and Turncoat took a whole 35. The Moorhound, on the other hand, didn't drop my frames while using him. In fact, I feel like I may have gotten a few extra here and there, and the frame rate loss while looking at him was about the same as the tier 1s, which means that just because it's a new hunter doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad one. Kane, the one legendary hunter that supposedly improves frame rates, didn't do so on my system, but then again, he really didn't drop them more than a few frames either. This, combined with the reports from many of you and the data provided by the kind people who helped me with the testing, allows me to be confident when I say that how much this issue impacts you will be rig dependent. However, it does seem like the majority of people I've talked to commonly see frame drops similar to mine, sometimes slightly better, sometimes slightly worse. I'm fairly sure this whole problem has to do with the overall complexity of each hunter with things like cloth physics and associated shadows being responsible. I don't really have an explanation for the diminishing impact on FPS that occurs with multiple instances of a hunter though. Maybe the assets used on the especially problematic hunters require a more demanding process to render that's responsible for the large initial drop, but once your GPU is... I'm just realizing I don't actually know how computers work. It's a miracle I've managed to build a few. I cannot stress enough that how many frames you will lose with any particular legendary hunter is dependent on your personal system. I highly recommend setting a baseline with a tier one hunter and then testing yourself to make sure that your favorite hunter isn't in fact an FPS killer. One last interesting thing to note is that I had my team move away from me during the testing and attempted to determine if there was any particular distance at which frame rates were better or worse. The results were very inconsistent, but 15 meters is roughly the distance that most of the hunters will begin to cost the most frames. Oh, and the frame drops will still persist even if the hunters you're looking at are in fact dead. <laughs> I still can't believe Gar can cost you 80 frames, and this video cost me over $80. The lovely individuals helping me with the testing didn't have a good number of the skins needed, and I'm dangerously dedicated. I somehow, this has been the greatest heist of all fucking time. I was on slate to unlock three legendary hunters, and now I have all four a whole while earlier, and I can probably get this charm thingy too. I mean, this has been the greatest heist of all time. My reputation never comes under question, Juve. I'm expecting you to stand up for me. I will be avoiding Gar and eating nothing but ramen for the foreseeable future. Fucking subscribe.